Welcome to the stage, Sir David. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Sir David, you, this is the second year in a row that you've won the only BAFTA voted for by the public. Is that make, does that underline just how successful and popular the, your shows still are? It underlines uh, how the general public in this country, at any rate, uh, cares about the natural world. And it may sound odd, but I've been in the game for a long time, and I can remember a time when it was regarded that the Natural History Unit and the programmes it produced as being slightly sort of odd and quaint of the British public. Uh, and there are other countries in the world uh, who actually fought, did not wish to hear that sort of message and would not believe that it would be popular. Um, that's changed, actually, and as a result mm. of the unit, uh, as work, I mean, programmes, series that we tried to get cooperation before with 50 years ago, 30 years ago, 20 years ago, uh, we, did, we failed. But now we can. And it is remarkable that um, organisations around the world have recognised that their viewers want to know what, what, it, what it is, what's going on with the natural world. Uh, and we're delighted that they should find us to answer that question. And what do you think was so special about this moment, this, with this, the moment with the mother whale, which touched on the, uh, the problem with the plastic in the sea and everything? Was it that? Was it that there's a really important message there as well? Yes. I mean, there are emotions uh, that all human beings feel, uh, and one of the most powerful is uh, a, a protective a feeling to protect the newborn young. Uh, and we all feel it, and we are programmed to feel it. I mean, it's a, it's a, a zoological fact that we all are programmed. If you see two little big eyes and, and a little mouth, we adore it. OK. That's, that now, the British public is, is aware, it doesn't just apply to little babies of our own kind, but it requires to babies of all kinds and that when uh, uh, an infant whale like that uh, is dying, we feel it powerfully. Absolutely. Is there any questions from... Yes, at the front. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, Sir David, you recently celebrated a, is it your 92nd birthday. I just wondered how you celebrated and what presents you got and how, how do you celebrate your birthdays now? Uh, in no way at all. <laughs> just sat at home uh, doing what I was supposed to be doing, which I've forgotten what it was. But, um, <laughs> but I was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be celebrating tonight then to make up for that? Huh? Will you be celebrating tonight to make up for that? No, no, no. no. I, I mean, we, uh, my nearest and dearest and families and friends made a fuss when I was 90. OK, that's enough. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> OK, thank you. We've got time for one more question. Yes, sorry. <laughs> I mean, this programme, Blue Planet, has had such an impact. Are you proud of what you've all achieved with this programme? I, I'm very proud of what it does, and I'm in no doubt as to, as to why it did what it did. It's people like these who are in the team who did it. I mean, it's a very big team. Uh, and um, Mark and I, I'm sure, would be the first to say that at the sharp end, there are people, men and women, who swim with extraordinary skill, strength, daring, knowledge, insight, and bring back the pictures uh, that I have the privilege of putting my words to. Ola is one of them. Ola. Or she went, took her cameras to the bottom, deeper than they'd ever been before, and saw sights that no human being had ever seen before. Ola did. Thank you, Ola. Congratulations.